Hey everyone, welcome back to the galaxy. Today we'll be creating an awesome album cover in GIMP using the Kaleidoscope filter. I'm starting with a 1400 by 1400 pixel canvas with guides in the horizontal and vertical center. I also have three layers, one transparent background layer and two image layers, one a little more creepy than the other. You want to choose photographs that have easily identifiable contrasts and shapes. A solid color will not produce any effect from the kaleidoscope filter. First, I'm going to apply this effect to the cyborg layer. For now, I will turn off the visibility of the geometric layer. This filter uses all of the photograph inside the layer boundary lines, which you can see as I make this cyborg layer active. These yellow dotted lines are the boundary lines. I usually like to keep the photograph I'm applying this filter to a bit larger than the layer, so the filter has more to work with. You want to make sure the boundary size of the layer includes the parts of the photograph you want to appear in the kaleidoscope and reaches to the same size or a little bit bigger than the canvas. After making those changes, I will make sure the cyborg layer is active, and then go up to Filters, down to Distorts, and then select Kaleidoscope. Now this new window may look a bit daunting, but we'll go over some useful options for you to experiment with. Many of these options play off of one another, and often need some experimentation to get the hang of this filter. If we adjust the amount of mirrors, this increases and decreases the amount of reflections in the effect. First, I'm going to turn the mirrors level down to 2. This will help me demonstrate the center X and Y. As I move the center X amount, notice how the original image is shifting from right to left. As I move the center Y amount, now the image shifts from top to bottom. Using this, I will position the original image in frame so I can grab details that I want. If I go back to adjusting the mirror amount, see how we can multiply the reflections of the original image. After creating a design I like with these two modifiers, we can look at some extra options. We can use mirror rotation to achieve some internal rotation of the mirrors. X and Y trim can be useful for refining the position of the original object. And result rotation rotates the entire design. I will use result rotation to line up my design for symmetry. If your design becomes uncentered, simply select the mouse icon next to offset X and Y. Then click on the center of the canvas where the two guides intersect. You can also manipulate these amounts separately to position the kaleidoscope on your canvas. After I've adjusted these amounts to my liking, I'll click OK. Then I will apply the same techniques to this geometric layer. I don't want the colors of this layer detracting from the cyborg layer, so I will decrease the saturation until it is black and white. To do this, first I'm making sure that this geometric layer is active. Then I'll go up to Colors, down to Saturation. And here I will drag this down to zero, and click OK. Now if I retoggle the cyborg layer, we can see how these two layers complement one another. The last element I want to add is the album title Cyborg. Using the text tool, I will draw out a text box in the middle yellow area. And type out Cyborg. Right now I can't see this text layer because it's underneath this cyborg layer, so I'll just drag it up on top. 
This font doesn't seem very mechanical or futuristic to match my design, so I will change it using the text tool options and make it bigger. To perfectly center this text layer, make sure that these text boundaries are flush to the text, and then click the Align tool, click the text layer, make sure this is set to relative to image, and then center it with center of target and middle of target. And here is the final album cover. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. For more in-depth graphic design discussion, be sure to join our Facebook group, where you can share your projects and ask questions.